there, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we're going to be celebrating Black History Month with the exciting story of the life of Martin Luther King Jr. Are you guys ready to get started? <laughs> Let's go. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia, to a Baptist minister and his wife. The middle child, he had an older sister and a younger brother. Education was very important in his family. So by age 15, he started college at Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia, where he earned a degree in sociology. And by then, he had decided to become a minister too, just like his father. And he won a scholarship to Crozer Theological Seminary. Seminary is a special kind of school where people go to study how to be a minister and how to run a church. In seminary school, he graduated number one in his class, the valedictorian, and he was voted to be the class president by his whole school. <laughs> Already, Martin Luther King Jr. was well-liked and showing great leadership skills. He went on to graduate school at Boston University and earned a PhD while starting his first job as the minister at Dexter Avenue Baptist Church. He married a musician named Coretta Scott and they had four beautiful children. Developing both his mind and his spirit was very important to Dr. King and these traits would serve him well in the future when he became a great leader for the civil rights movement. At this time in history, things were quite different from how they are today. Although the Civil War had ended and our country, the United States of America, granted equal rights to all Americans, regardless of the color of their skin, individual states found ways to work around this by creating their own state and city laws to continue the unfair treatment of people. The nastiest offenders were in the South, and Alabama, which was where Dr. Martin Luther King lived now, was one of the worst. These laws, called the Jim Crow laws, made it illegal for black and white children to go to the same schools, for people of different colors to play and work together, to sit in the same section of a bus, or even drink from the same water fountain. Unbelievable. People who were African American were paid less for the same work performed and did not have equal access to job opportunities, regardless of their skills or abilities. As you can imagine, this took a deep emotional toll on generations of people and forced the majority of black people in America into poverty. Working with several other civil rights activists, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr created and headed up the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, an organization that coordinated peaceful protests against these immoral laws and to bring national attention to the injustices of the South. He strongly preached the principle of non-violent protests, saying in a famous speech, quote, in the process of gaining our rightful place, we must not be guilty of wrongful deeds. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hatred." End quote. He was a wise man who understood that hate only creates more hate. Violence creates more violence. And that no matter how justified these feelings might be because of mistreatment, they would never create the peace tolerance, and freedom that people of color in America were seeking. One of the things that made Dr. King so powerful was his use of words and not weapons to create change in the world. He appealed to people's better nature, and even those who disagreed with his beliefs respected his conviction, courage, and leadership style. We could write an entire book on the history and achievements of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., but let's mention a few of his honors here. 
He won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, the highest honor in the whole world for creating peace. He helped enact the Civil Rights Act 1964, which outlawed all those Jim Crow laws and made it truly illegal to discriminate against people because of race and sex and color, religion, or their country of origin. He aided in the Voting Rights Act of 1965, which made it illegal to create barriers preventing black people from casting their vote. He helped millions of people in America believe in the possibility of a better, more equal and just world when all they could see around them was the opposite. And in so doing, people over time were able to create that better world. Before Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in April 1968, he gave a speech that is now considered one of the most famous, most important speeches in our country's history, the I Have a Dream speech. In that speech, he speaks beautifully of a vision he has for America and says, quote, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character, end quote. Something that seemed like an impossibility only 50 years ago. <laughs> what an incredible life story of a brilliant and brave man who literally gave his life to the cause he believed in, creating a fair and free country for all. Thanks so much for helping us celebrate Black History Month here at Storytime for Kids. And until our next video, be sure to subscribe and happy story time. Bye.